Hey guys, welcome to example program. In this video, we will see how we can write a simple C sharp program to check for even and odd number. Here in this program, we will be asking the user to enter a number and then we will apply some logic and we will display the message saying the number entered by the user is the even number or the odd number. Now, how we can say that a number is an even number or an odd number. If you have a number, if you divide this number by two, if you get the reminder zero, then this number is said to be even number. If this reminder is a non-zero value, you know, which is one, then this number is said to be odd number. For example, if you have the number 23, then what you have to do is you have to divide this number by two. So uh, here in this case, we get the reminder as one. Since this reminder is a non-zero value, this 23 is the odd number. And similarly, if you have the number uh, 28, then you have to divide this number 28 by two. So this time the reminder will be zero. So since the reminder is zero, this 28 is the even number. Okay, now we know how we can say a number is an even number or the odd number, but how we can get the reminder in c -sharp programming. In most of the programming languages, we have an operator available called as the modulus operator. And this operator is denoted by this percentage symbol. When you use this operator, it will give the reminder value. For example, if you want to divide num1 by num2, and if you want the reminder value, then you can use this uh, modulus operator. In this video, you will see how we can use this operator. So now let's take a look at how we can write the program for checking for even and odd number. Now here I have already written some code. Here in this program, we are using the system. And then I have created this namespace called as odd even. And inside this namespace, I have the class program. And in this class, we have the static main method, which is the entry point of our program from our perspective. First, let us declare some of the variables that we need. As I said before, here we will be asking the user to enter a number. And that's why we need a variable to store the user input. Now that variable will be of type integer value because we are reading a number from the user. So I will call my variable as number. Now, another variable that we need is for storing the reminder value calculated and I will name it as reminder. Okay. Now, the next thing that we have to do is we have to ask the user to enter a number and then we have to take whatever the value, whatever the number the user will enter. So we can display the message by using the console dot right line method and the message will be please enter an integer value. Now, after seeing this message, user will enter a value and we will read the entered value by using the console dot read line method. Now, this read line method, it will read whatever the value user is going to enter and it will read it as a string value. Here in this program, uh, we need to take the integer value. So that's why we have to convert that string form to integer form. And we can do that by using the convert dot to int 32 method. Okay. Now this will convert the number in string form to integer form and it will return that. So here we will store that value in our number variable. So here with the read line method of this console, we are reading the user input in string form. And since we want the input in integer form, we are converting that uh, string form of the input to integer form. And then we are storing that in this number variable. Okay. Now we have the user input or the number that we, that we can check for even or odd. The next thing that we do is we will calculate the reminder value. Now, what we have to do is we have to divide the value stored in this number variable by two. 
and we need to get the reminder value and uh, as i said before we will be using the modulus operator and uh, we need to specify that operator here so it will be number modulus operator 2 here this will divide the value stored in this number variable by 2 and whatever the reminder value that we get will be returned by this uh, statement so now what we're going to do is we are going to save that reminder value in our reminder variable okay here we are performing number divided by 2 and whatever the reminder value that we get we are uh, storing that in this reminder variable now the next thing that we do is we will check for the reminder value whether that is zero or a non-zero value so we can do that by using the if statement and the condition will be if reminder equal to zero here we are using double equal to and this is the comparison operator if the reminder variable is containing a value of zero then that means that the number entered by the user is an even number and we will display the message for that and uh, we will be using the console dot right line method and the message will be is an even number and we will refer the number variable here so if the user is going to enter let's say 24 then uh, then the reminder variable will contain the value of 0 and this will display 24 is an even number now if the reminder variable is not containing 0 if it is containing a non-zero value then it means that the number entered by the user is an odd number and we will display the message for that in this else part okay here i'm gonna change this one to odd number now this is the program which will uh, you know check for the even and odd number now if i run this program the program will run but we really can't see the output and that's because the program will run so fast that we have no chance of uh, checking out the output. Uh, just to demonstrate that i'm gonna run this program please enter an integer value i'm gonna enter 24 and that's it you have very little time to check for the output and uh, that's why what we're going to do is we will add a post to our program in the end by using console.readKey method and this method will wait for us to press any key and uh, hence it will act as a post to our program now if you want you can display a message for that also for example console dot right line and the message will be press any key to exit okay now let's run this program let's build and run this program please enter an integer value i'm going to enter 26 it says 26 is an even number press any key to exit i just misspelled this key so if i press any key here you know it will terminate the program so we will run it one more time and this time I'm going to enter 17. 17 is an odd number. Press any key to exit. You can press any key and the program will terminate. So this is how you guys can write a simple c -sharp program to check for even and odd number. Now, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't like it, then hit the dislike button. If you have any opinion, then write that in the comment box. For watching more tutorials like this, do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. See you later in the next video.